Hello. The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> right, we're toddlers a go go today. Okay. We are going to change both of them. Right. Both of them. Let's I see how we go. Holla. Yeah, both of them. Who have you got, Mr. B? I've got Alfie at the moment. You've got Alfie at the moment, and he's dressed in. I can't remember what he's wearing. I think he's wearing. Oh, he's got wearing his can't wait to be king thing. That's he's right. Been wearing for ages. And Brooke is in her pretty pink net dress. Brooke, I'm just going to have to take your shoes off, darling girl. Have them off. What a beaut. What a beaut. I'm just going to get Brooke's dress. Now I'm going to put the little suit I showed you on Monday on her with all the beautiful birdies on it. And I've decided I'm not going to put that seashell necklace's t shirt on because she doesn't need it. She's got a perfectly good little white vesty t-shirt on under and it's going to look perfectly okay mm. so move the cushion because otherwise i haven't got room alfie says you're not going to be changing him he wants to go and play uh sorry alf dream on <laughs> <laughs> oh alfie is not in the best of tempers at the moment because he doesn't like the heat he really does not like well i can well heat. understand that he, he he hates it so his temper is just not the best at the moment so he's not happy <laughs> yeah he, he, like, he just wants to do what Alfie wants to do mm. um, which does not always is the best of things when it's not what mummy wants him to do like mm. for example eat his nice organic garden vegetables which mummy put through the blender for him and he insists on putting all over the wall, all over the floor, all over the sofa. You want to be out playing in a sandpit, don't you? Well, we haven't got a sandpit. Yeah, well, we could. We could have. How are we going to get a sandpit? We'll take him to the beach or something. All right, you take him to the beach. I'll take him to the beach. You take, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it just the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Now, have we got... Yes, we have. We have got poppers. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We've got these poppers all down. It's going to have to go over her head, I think. So we're going to have to do this. Ah! Mamma mia! Did you ever make sand castles? <gasps> oh, I used to adore making sand castles. It was just the best thing ever. What, the little ones or the yeah, big the, ones? No, the little ones. The oh, little right. ones in the bucket. The bucket. The bucket. Yes. Yeah. It just used to amaze my soul when you'd put wet sand into a bucket. I'll never forget the first time I did it, my grandma showed me. They used to have a, a bunker in their backyard that had sand in it. Don't ask me why. It was like a coal bunker mm. and it had sand in it for us kids to play in and she put some water in to make the sand wet enough for us to be able to make sand pies and she my grandma brought me a yogurt pot because i was only small and i stood on this little stooly thing i must have only been about three or four and she said okay put your hands in the sand i said no i don't want to put my hands in the sand no 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 yes oh, it feels nasty she said look you'll like it put your hands in the sand and put some sand into this yogurt pot so I did and she said now tamp it down so I did she showed me how oh it's a bit fat for your leggies no darling let's pull it down and then she said now turn it over put make a flat place turn it over and I did and she said now tap the top and then pull it pull it up see if it'll come and that moment when it comes perfectly mm. and the 
the, the bucket or the pot or whatever you've used comes away and leaves a perfect mould of wet sand and it's absolutely perfect. I don't think any, you know, ice cream bomb or jelly or blancmange or six course dinner I've ever cooked has topped that moment for me. Brooke, you're looking very undignified, darling. There we go. Uh, has topped that moment for me when I picked up that yogurt pot and made my first little miniature sandcastle. Mm. <laughs> it was good, wasn't it? That is just moment of utter triumph. <laughs> Look at that! I did that! <laughs> but did you like the big sandcastles as well? Did you make a big... Really big castle. What with the moat and stuff? No, yes. I never did. I thought that was great to do I, that. I know well, you're a boy. Boys do things like that. Girls oh. don't. Oh, okay. At least I, I didn't. No, I let me, let me, before I'm accused of rank for um, anti-feminism. Little girls like me didn't. Mm. Um, I wasn't interested in sand castles of that kind. I was interested in making sand cakes and sand pies and. Oh. And, and that kind of thing, having making dinner for the fairies. That's um, why I like you and love you so much. Oh, it's your femininity. <laughs> that's what I. That's it, it, seriously. It's one of the things that always appealed to me. <laughs> I I really was not interested in boys' games. I was only interested in. Let's see if I can find a cane book there. It's, uh, there is one somewhere. Um, I was really only interested in doing girly things and making sandcastles with boys was not among them are uh, we struggling there i can't find a comb at the moment so i'm not going to worry about it i'm just going to smooth her fluffy hair there we are darling look how gorgeous she looks mm -hmm. what do you think Rhea? she looks she looks like she's going to go running down the beach and you'll have to chase her <laughs> <laughs> yeah that little white t-shirt can you put your head up darling there we go that little white t-shirt is absolutely perfect. This this t-shirt is uh, the t-shirt. This little romper is again. It's light green, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's got birds all over it, including a bird. Where did I see it? Somewhere. I'm done with it. It's gone. It's disappeared. There is a puffy bird that I saw that has like neon wings and is all smiley and I've lost her. Where's she gone? She's gone. She's flown away and disappeared. I can't find her. Can you see her? She's gone. How odd. Oh well. Oh there she is. She's on the back. Turn, turn her around. Look at that. On the back for heaven's sake. There's a puffy bird. It's stuffed. It's puffy. And it's got a big, old, smiley and neon beautiful wings. Can you see that there? Mm -hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't think where it had gone. <laughs> and it was on the back. I've never, I've never known such a, a lovely decoration be on the back of a romper. Amazing. So we're going to change over. And Mr. B's going to have Alfie, um, Alfie, no. Brookie Bear, and I'm going to have Alfie Woo Woo. Just give us a minute. You know, my stupidity amazes me sometimes. Uh. You know, it didn't even occur to me that the reason that bird was on the back was because little Miss Idiot Brains here had put it on round the wrong way. It was only, ladies and gentlemen, when I came to, to oh. take Brooke here that I actually noticed and I thought, I tell you what I'll do. I, I'll turn it round the w right way round. She oh. put it on wrong. I'll sort it out. And look at her now, everybody. Mr. Perfection personified. Mr. B, may you be forgiven. <laughs> if you have ever put an outfit on a baby of ours in your life i will give you a big fat cream cake oh well you're off to the bakers then eh? because <laughs> i just did this one <laughs> no it was Rhea who saw she, she yes. said you have got that on the wrong way around have you and as soon as she said it i thought uh yeah i probably have i'm just so used to buttons being at the 
come on, Alfie. We, we, let's get you out of this. Oh, what a twizzle. Twizzle brain. I won't tell you what I said off camera. Mm. The words were very interesting. As Flanders and Swan so rightly said, pee, po, belly, bum, draws. <laughs> <laughs> There's a song, isn't there, about Auntie Chili? Do you know that one? No. I, uh, I have to look it up. It's it's uh, it's an old song about um, this this uh, little lad who's singing to his Auntie Chili about the fact that she's always making his clothes wrong because she she makes his clothes and uh, she puts the buttons up the back. No, I've never heard that. One, I darling. must find it. I've never heard yeah, that. Yeah. No. There we go. <sighs> you know, all kinds of interesting songs. I know my Flanders and Swan, but I don't know. I'll have to. I, I will have to find it. Was it F and S? No, it wasn't. Oh, no. I was going to say. Yeah, I've no, never no. heard. No, because I know my F and S backwards. No, no I, I, I will find it. Eight and I will... years when I was working in hospital radio, we had weekly F and S because people always loved it. Oh, you uh, can't have too much of a good thing. Go. No, well, they seem, didn't seem to be able to want to. I took it away, and they said, "Where's our Flanders and Swan? Bring it back! Oh. Where have you been and gone and done with it? We want it." How dare you take it away? Bring it back immediately, I say. <laughs> right, this is what I'm going to put on Alfie. This is uh, light green with a blue racing car on it. It's very sweet. Lovely summer colour. I love light green. It's one of my favourite colours. Yellow car, honey. Uh, yellow car. Beg your pardon. Oh, it's warm. Excuse the hissing, if you can hear a hissing, it's the fan. Yes. If we didn't use the fan, we would be sweltered I don't think I could uh, get through them today. No, we couldn't. Neither of us could. It's just totally swelterific. Now, Alf, are you going to fit into this? Because it looks... Ah, oh, here are some buttons. It looks a bit snug, this does, but I've asked her to check the size twice, and she did. Mm. So. Let us see. There we go. I find that a funny song, if it's done properly, will make me laugh much mm. more than a sketch or a comedy program. Will. Oh, I know, because you, do, you know, with comedy, it just goes whistling right over your head. Oh, it? thank you. That's just, <laughs> no, it's, it's actually true. I, I don't know. I must be have uh, been born with a gene lacking that other people have. <laughs> um, things. You do, know, I'm only teasing. You. I know you do, darling. I know you are, darling. But I'm afraid it's it's rather truer than you, I like people to know about that. I'm always being told I've got no sense of humour or I take myself too seriously. But a lot of things that people find funny, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I just do not get that. It's, it's, you know. Well, humour, you know, different elements of humour appeals to different humor people. Humour is subjective. It? I yes. mean, I've, I've read books that I've thought very funny and I hear songs that I've thought very funny and, but like, funny programs on tv i'm like usually leave me dead cold and radio comedy is the same and i'm like what what are all these people seeing in this that i'm missing is there something strange have i have i kind of <laughs> didn't i take enough parish's food and molten cod liver oil when i was little <laughs> <laughs> and, and some people things that people find funny i find absolutely repellent as vis-a-vis -vis, mm. the prank phone call all oh, right well some of them can be good I, but i think it's been overdone now oh i just if what? if i hear a prank phone call coming on i have to leave the room because mm. it just makes me feel sick well when uh, i think because we're at the age well at the age i am anyway uh, you know i've heard it being done for like 30 years or something like that and and what when you hear it now it's the, the whole concept isn't as funny as perhaps it used to be because when when they started out particularly on the radio never mind uh, prank phone calls phone calls per se were very limited on the radio then because mm. not everybody had a telephone did they 
Uh, now, what's happening here, Alf? Let me just see. Is your mummy messing up? No, I don't think she is. There we go. Well, I think that one goes there. There we go. And that one goes there. Do you remember that program B, the, um, the swap shop, multicolor swap shop? Yes, I used to watch it every week. Uh, yeah. I, I used to love that. Um, and the theme, I mean, I never, ever, ever got through to it. I bet you did. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. No, I oh, wanted well, to. That's, that's one, just one thing. thing. We've got yeah. in common. You, you had record requests to read out on the radio yes, when you were I little. Did. Yeah. And you've had all the toys I wanted but never <laughs> had. <laughs> But you never got through to the multicolors. No, I, I did I, try. Goodness knows I tried. You could never get through. It was always the uh, I wanted to talk to Abba, but and uh, I couldn't. And, but that yeah. was amazing. That you know, you the, the the whole thing about that program was that you phoned in, and if you were incredibly lucky, and there was an R in the month, and you know, <laughs> you stood on your head. You stood yeah. on your head, and you know, I don't know, the stars were in alignment. You could actually get to talk on the phone to, like, your favourite pop star. Yes. Or your favourite TV star or, you know, it was just, in the 70s when, when it happened, nothing like that ever, you know, oh, it, ever. Oh, it was groundbreaking. It was. It really was. There was just nothing, nothing, nothing like that. It was incredible. Here you go, darling. That's pretty, are these shoes okay, by the way? Yeah, I think they'll suit you. Know. Okay. Otherwise, we could leave them off, I suppose. There we go, Alf. Oh, it does fit him. It looks lovely. Look at that. I love it. Good. Superbulous. So, we've been changing away and rambling along, chattering while we've been doing it. And we've ended up with two beautiful, clean, cool, gorgeous toddlers. All ready for the sand pit. All ready. <laughs> <laughs> you stop talking about sand pits. It's only otherwise you're going to get a very Alfie's dusty idea. answer. <laughs> Did you say dusty? Dusty, oh. dusty, sandy. You get sand for supper. Yes, all right. I'll <laughs> sing for my supper, or I'll get sand for it. One or two. Either way, we'll join you tomorrow. We will join you tomorrow when we'll be doing a feed. I don't think I'll be able to sing because my voice is not performing very well. But I will definitely be with you for a feed. We will definitely be with you for a feed yes. tomorrow. And we will, in the meantime, love you and leave you. Take care of yourselves and say, enjoy your say babies. Goodbye. Say bye-bye, darling. Bye. Bye-bye, say. And let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.